If you're using somebody's money that bought a holster today to build a holster that somebody bought two weeks ago, that's that's not good, man. That's not good business. I Trust me, we're there. It costs way too many resources to do customs for every possible carry. That's why there are a multitude of companies. Many are vet owned too. Yeah, Josh, um, interesting. Uh, it, interesting point, and, and and you're right about that. Is you know making custom holsters, it just the resources are just, <laughs> and so everything for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Now you have more employees. Now you have to buy more inventory, and how fast is that inventory moving? And are you buying that inventory uh, from the money that you just sold a holster on a website this morning? So you're using that money to build the holsters that uh, somebody placed an order two weeks ago. That's not good business. You're bleeding and you don't even know it. If you're using somebody's money that bought a holster today to build a holster that somebody bought two weeks ago, that's, that's not good, man. That's not good business. I Trust me, we're there. We were there, man. We had, there was a time where we had three months, four months lead times. You think we were making money? We thought we were. Oh yeah, man, yeah, we're using the money that was coming in to build holsters that were placed two months ago. If they were, if people would have stopped and said, you know what, we all want our money back, we don't want the product, you guys are taking too long, we all want our money back, there was no way that I could have paid them back. You wanna be in that hole? And that's fine, look, if you're in your garage and you just started and it's you and your nephew and maybe you have one employee, that's fine, man, knock yourselves out, but if you think that you can take that model and execute it and leverage it, you can't. You can't, man. And so he's right. Jared's right. It's just too much time, too much effort to do customs. There'll always be custom. There'll always be guys in the garage, and that's awesome. Because if you buy a uh, Farley filament light, you know, with a some crazy gun. I just made that up, man. I'm just, if you buy a crazy one-off light with a crazy one-off gun, you'll find a holster eventually. If you look hard enough, somebody will build you something. So that's cool. But to build hundreds of holsters a day in that fashion, it just costs way too much. It's impossible. Unless you have a crazy awesome uh, manufacturing process that we had an, the amp, our 2.0s, awesome man, CNC machines. We had, two CNC, we had two CNC machines running. We couldn't keep up, guys. We couldn't keep up, man. And we, I'm talking about, we put it on there and the suction, it was vacuumed. Like we, we didn't have to screw anything on there to keep the, 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 the molded kydex on there and then the CNC machine comes and, no man, we put it on, it sucks it, 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 just, it just holds it down and then the CNC machine comes and it just cuts it. I mean, I think our maximum output was like 300 a day, some, something like that, and it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough, guys, I'm telling you. So to go back to the easy bake ovens and making custom stuff, no, doesn't work, doesn't work. Good question, man.